Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to download and install SPX. First, let's go to the website spx.graphics download. SPX is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Today, we focus on Windows installation. SPX comes as a zip file that can be extracted. Here, we have it in the local C in the SPX subfolder. Extract files. In here, you can see three folders, access, data root, locals. The readme files show you in details how to installation and the release notes update on the new updates that we have. Run the execution file to open the app. For the first time, it generate the config.json automatically, so allow access. SPX runs as a console application, so we need to paste the URL to Google Chrome. It is recommended to use Google Chrome. For the first time user, you can choose username and password. This unifies all your devices that has SPX. Or just put no and save. Here is the UI of SPX. Go to Projects tab. We have Hello World Project ready. In here, you can add multiple projects, for example, for your company, for your personal, open project. In every project, there are multiple rundowns. Here, we have my first rundown ready. In this rundown, there are multiple items. Click play and space or hit space bar to play the rundown. Here, I play to you two items. You can put stop and space or hit space bar to stop. We have the support system for user to explore SPX resources, knowledge base, hit go, and then it will lead you to the knowledge base website. In here, for example, when you type installation, you will have multiple articles. Let's explore a little bit more. You can go back to project, create a new one. I call it headline. In here, you can add multiple HTML templates. I'm going to put headline HTML maybe one more name left go back to headline project add rundown i'm gonna call it headline put ok i'm gonna add one html template you can add multiples in here to edit the text you can double click on the rundown you can totally edit the text of your spx welcome to spx have fun save and play this is the multiple phase item so you can put continue and then space bar to stop thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial